Heat flux might sound like something used to power a certain time-traveling DeLorean, but in reality, it's something much more common. In fact, it's all around us. To get to the heart of this story, let's take our own time machine back to 1822 when Joseph Fourier published his work entitled The Analytical Theory of Heat, which included his namesake law of heat transfer, Fourier's Law, which states, the negative gradient of temperature and the time rate of heat transfer are proportional to the area at right angles of the gradient through which the heat flows. Simply put, Fourier's Law provides the definition of thermal conductivity and forms the basis of many methods of determining its value. Value. Thermal conductivity, or heat flux, is the transfer of thermal energy from one object to another, moving from a heat source to a heat sink, with the standard unit of measurement for heat flux being watts per square meter. You've probably experienced heat flux yourself. For instance, when you get cold feet from standing on a cold floor, the temperature of the floor is lower than that of your feet. Hence, heat flows from your feet to the floor, with the floor acting as a heat sink. An opposite example would be if you're standing in a room with an ambient temperature of 72 degrees, but then you move in front of a window with sunlight coming through. The radiant heat from the sun is absorbed by your skin, making you feel warmer, even though the ambient temperature of the room is still 72 degrees. We know that there are a lot of ways to measure static temperature of an object, but how do we measure heat flux? We use a heat flux sensor, that's how. A heat flux sensor is made by connecting a network of thermocouple pairs wired together in series across a thin layer of insulation, creating a voltage differential between the two sides of insulation. The resulting voltage is proportional to the heat flux through the sensor. The measurement through the lead wires will be positive or negative, depending on whether the heat is flowing through the top or through the bottom of the sensor. This allows the user to see which direction the heat is flowing. Heat flux sensors can be found in many applications across many fields. From the study of building envelope thermal resistance in order to design and build more energy efficient structures to industrial applications where temperature and heat flux may be much higher, such as blast furnaces and solar concentrators. Wherever heat transfer needs to be measured, you'll find a heat flux sensor at work. Still have questions? We have answers. Call or chat online at omega.com and be sure to like and subscribe.